what is up adg traders this is munya and welcome back to my channel today is a tuesday and you know what we do each and every tuesday guys i share with you uh, a strategy that can you can use an efficient strategy that you can use to make money from the market so today we're going to take a look at a very powerful yet simple strategy that you can use on your forex uh pairs and get those pips guys okay so as usual if you're new to this channel kindly click the subscribe button and turn on notification bell so that you are notified each and every time i post a video if you like this video click the like button it will also help me improve this channel and it will also help this channel reach a lot of people okay so um you can also join our telegram channel where we discuss uh, and I share with you guys some of the things that I think about trading and some more on ATG as a company. You can also follow me on Instagram. The links can be found in the description box only. Guys, do not get links and my number from the comment section because anyone can comment in the comment section. So get it from the description box so that you are safe. Um, your money is safe. You're free from fraudsters, right? So, um, let's get into today's business and this is the strategy that i want to share with you guys right here we're just going to do the step-by-step -step, um, installation on it and i'll explain when to buy when to sell when to take profit and when to uh, stop losses so i've been testing the strategy for quite some time as usual uh, every strategy that i bring to you guys i would have tested it before sharing it with you guys so this is a brand new strategy uh very efficient um very powerful you can make a lot of money from it and i'm just gonna share it with you guys for free or maybe not for free click the like button if you want to appreciate uh what's happening on this channel okay so i'm just gonna remove everything and then start afresh with you guys so I basically now I have a plain chart with uh, green candles as the bullish candlesticks and the red ones as the bearish candlesticks. I'm on a white background, nothing much. I'm on uh, pound USD right now. That's the pair that I'm looking at. And that's the pair that I would advise you guys to, to, to maximize on it because this one has a very high pip value. And you'll find out that with this strategy, we are, we are, we are targeting 20 pips and if you have a pair like uh like a gbp usd which has a very high pip value of about 20 um usd per pip you find out that 20 pips is a lot of money right you find out that 20 pips is a lot of money so i've been using it on on on, on this pair in particular so as to maximize and also so as to get uh, a very efficient way of trading so Let's get right into the indicator. So the first indicator that we're going to install is a moving average. Um, it's a moving average of period nine, a shift of zero, and it's a simple moving average. So in method, you just choose simple and it's applied to close, right? So just make sure it's close. And then the style, obviously it's of your own choice. But for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna put uh, red. And then just increase the pixel so that you guys can clearly see when i'm demonstrating it right after that uh we're gonna click done and there you can see now i have a red line on my charts which is the simple moving average of period nine applied on close right i'm just gonna install the next moving average which is a simple moving average again but this time the period is 100 right again the shift is zero Again, we are planning to close and I'm just going to change the color right here to black so that it is visible to you guys so that you can clearly see, right? Everything else, I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm going to click done. Now I have two lines on my chart right there. And the last indicator that we want to use is, um, is called the relative Vigo index. Um, most people, I think you just see it on your phone, but you didn't know how to use it. It's a momentum indicator. So basically, it shows you the momentum 
uh, off the market. I will get deeper into what exactly um, it shows and how it can help you in your trading, right? So I'm just going to choose relative vehicle index and the period has to be 100 for this one. Everything else, you can leave it the same or you can change your colors depending on what you want. But I would advise that if you are to follow my strategies, just keep on with these colors that I'm using for uh, for you to get for it to be easy for you guys to understand okay so i'm gonna click done and now i have something like this this is the complete strategy that you can see on on the screen and what we just want to adjust before i start explaining when to buy and when to sell is the zoom levels the zoom levels are very important i would advise you to use the smallest zoom level something like that Use the smallest zoom level because we want to we are going to be using also this bottom section and so it will be affected by your zoom level but otherwise if you were just using the main chart it wasn't going to be a problem so make sure you have the smallest zoom level here so for you to get uh, an effective result okay so obviously now the question is when do i buy and when do i sell right so we start off with when do you buy it's a very simple strategy needs basic uh, uh basic understanding and obviously it needs you to practice it on demo before moving on to a real account so you buy when the sma 9 crosses to be above the sma 100 right that's the first condition. You only have two conditions. The first condition for your buy is you want the SMA 9, which is the red line here, to cross to be above the SMA 100, which is the black line. That's the first condition. The second condition is you want your RVI to be above zero. Can you see that this is our zero line right here in the middle? We want these two lines of the rvi to be above the zero line anyway above the zero line and then we are good to go i'll explain further why but those are the first two conditions that we want so on time frame i would advise you to use the one hour time frame to get the maximum uh, efficiency but you can also use the 30 minute time frame uh, or the four hour time frame but my uh time frame that I'm, i the time frame that i prefer for this strategy is the one hour time frame so try and use it in the one hour time frame you can even you can even move to smaller time frames and do scalping on it you can test it out on your own and get to see what you're comfortable with because at the end of the day you have to trade the way you are comfortable with right it's not always the case but from from my experience with this strategy one our time frame has been doing wonders for me right so in a case like this we have the smr9 the red line crossing over to be above the black line and then i have to come here and wait for my rvi to be above the zero line and then i enter into my buy trade that's all so let's take a look at uh, all those scenarios where that happened we had a scenario here there was a crossover, but the RVI was not yet above the zero line. So you had to wait until the RVI crossed to be above. Can you see how important it was for the RVI to be above? Can you see that there was a drawdown, even though there was a crossover? But this drawdown was going to affect you if you had ended. And this is where the RVI comes uh, in play because it's a momentum indicator. If it's still below zero, say it's basically telling you that the momentum is too low for that, uh, for, a, for a bullish market. That's basically what it means. I don't want to get into exact details, but can you see that the moment it crossed to be above at this point, we went all the way up to 20 pips or more, right? Let's take another example uh, where there was a crossover. There was a crossover here, but the RVI was not yet above. And can you see the reversal that happened? Until we hit another crossover here, and then the market then went up 
uh, after the RVR was now above zero. So that's for a buy position. Let's take a look at sell conditions. Obviously, it's the opposite, right? We expect the SMR to close. SMR uh, with period nine to close, to cross to be below the black line, which is the SMA 100, right? After the crossover, this time we want the RFR to be below zero. And can you see that you're supposed to take your trade around this position and then go all the way down. Let's take another example. Here we had a crossover and uh, we had a nice uh, RVR below zero and we sold all the way down. So there are so many places where you can find the sell. You have to wait. This time you have to wait until it crosses to be below and then you take your sell. So that's for the buy and for the sell. Now for the take profit level, um, this is why I chose to use GBP USD. You're going to be targeting 20 pips per every entry. That's your take profit level. 20 pips, it's a lot of money because GUS with a high pip value, it's about $20 per pip. So that's a lot of money. You actually find that that is a lot of money. And also, your stop loss level is basically using the strategy in reverse. So basically, uh, if you are in a buy after the SMA 9 cross to be above, you obviously expect to close that trade if the SMI crosses to be below, right? To get it, basically, you're using the strategy in reverse of what is happening. So if you are in a buy trade, let's say at this point, when you see this crossover now happening, it means the momentum is now going. And by the way, you would have obviously have gotten your 20 pips already up to this stage. So uh, that's the time to also exit the market. Or you can use your risk reward ratio and see where you can place your stop loss. But overall, that is all for this strategy. If you like more videos like this, click the like button, subscribe. Don't forget to join our Telegram channel and follow me on Instagram. The links are in the description box below. Until next time.